Godzilla worked a little too... Monster Zero, it's just simple. No storm moves that fast, man. We need time to finish the evacuation. Since that Monster Zero thing is headed here, something more intimate. What do you suggest? <laughs> Anybody else? It's not looking good! Zawa, Colonel Foss, 
Foster, I need you and your... We have been developing a pro to exterminate all life forms within... Oh, no. We must keep our faith in... May God have mercy on us all. In your heart. Castle Bravo and the other container. They're escaping. It's it's him.
Movie Summary for Godzilla, King of the Monsters 2019 Introduction Godzilla, King of the Monsters 2019 is the third installment in the Monsterverse. Following the massive success of Godzilla 2014 and Kong Skull Island 2017, directed by Michael Doherty, this film elevates the stakes by introducing a pantheon of colossal creatures known as Titans, with Godzilla at the center of it all. The movie is a spectacle of epic proportions, focusing on jaw-dropping battles between Godzilla and his monstrous adversaries, including the three-headed King Ghidorah. Opening sequence, the movie begins with a flashback to the 2014 San Francisco attack, providing a haunting reminder of the devastation caused by Godzilla's emergence. We are then introduced to the Russell family, who are still grappling with the loss of their son during the attack. Doctor. Emma Russell, Vera Farmiga, a scientist working for the Monarch organization, has developed a device called the Orca, designed to communicate with and potentially control the Titans. The opening sets the stage for the intense action to follow, as Emma's actions inadvertently set off a chain reaction that leads to the awakening of multiple Titans around the world. The awakening of King Ghidorah, the first major action sequence occurs in Antarctica, where Monarch's team, led by Dr. Serizawa Kan Watanabe and Dr. Mark Russell Kyle Chandler, attempts to prevent eco-terrorists from awakening the dormant King Ghidorah. The tension builds as the frozen behemoth is revealed, and when King Ghidorah finally awakens, it's a sight to behold. The three-headed dragon emerges in a storm of ice and lightning, immediately establishing itself as a formidable foe. Godzilla arrives just in time to engage Ghidorah in a ferocious battle, showcasing the sheer power and scale of these titans. The clash is a visual spectacle, with Godzilla's atomic breath and Ghidorah's lightning strikes lighting up the icy landscape. Godzilla against Rodan. As the world's titans begin to awaken, the ancient fire demon Rodan emerges from a volcano in Mexico. The scene is a thrilling display of destruction as Rodan takes to the skies, leaving a trail of fiery devastation in his wake. The action shifts to a high-speed aerial battle as the military tries to lead Rodan into a confrontation with Ghidorah. However, Godzilla intervenes, leading to a spectacular mid-air clash between the King of the Monsters and the fiery Pteranodon. The battle is brief but intense, with Godzilla ultimately asserting his dominance 
only to be overpowered by Ghidorah shortly afterward. The underwater battle, in one of the film's most visually stunning sequences, Godzilla retreats to an underwater lair to recover from his injuries. The scene is a beautiful contrast to the previous battles, showcasing the serene yet eerie depths of the ocean. However, the piece is short-lived as the military, led by Admiral Stentz, David Strathairn, launches a desperate attack using an experimental weapon called the Oxygen Destroyer. The attack leaves Godzilla severely weakened, and Ghidorah seizes the opportunity to establish itself as the new Alpha, commanding the other Titans to wreak havoc across the globe. Mothra's emergence, as Godzilla recovers, the film introduces Mothra, the majestic queen of the monsters. Mothra's emergence from her cocoon is a visually stunning moment, filled with vibrant colors and ethereal beauty. Despite her peaceful nature, Mothra is a formidable fighter, and she soon allies herself with Godzilla. The bond between these two titans adds an emotional layer to the film, setting the stage for the final battle. Climactic battle in Boston. The final act of the film takes place in Boston, where Ghidorah has established a temporary base. The city becomes the battleground for the ultimate showdown between Godzilla, Ghidorah, and the other titans. Mothra arrives to aid Godzilla, engaging in a fierce battle with Rodan, while Godzilla and Ghidorah clash in a fight for supremacy. The battle is a masterclass in monster combat, with each blow shaking the earth and lighting up the sky. The filmmakers pull out all the stops, delivering a breathtaking display of destruction and raw power. The climax reaches its peak when Godzilla, now supercharged by Mothra's sacrifice, unleashes his full power in an epic final attack. Godzilla's atomic pulse obliterates Ghidorah, cementing his status as the king of the monsters. The other titans bow before him, acknowledging his dominance. As the film concludes with a sense of awe and reverence for these ancient beings. Conclusion, Godzilla, king of the monsters, ends on a triumphant note, with Godzilla reclaiming his throne as the undisputed alpha among the titans. The film sets the stage for future conflicts, hinting at the looming showdown with King Kong. With its blend of spectacular action, stunning visuals, and iconic monsters, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, delivers an unforgettable cinematic experience that leaves audiences eager for more. Movie review and rating for Godzilla, King of the Monsters 2019 introduction. Godzilla, King of the Monsters is a visually spectacular addition to the monsterverse that doubles down on what fans of the genre crave. Massive monster battles, epic destruction, and awe-inspiring special effects. Directed by Michael Doherty, the film delivers on its promise of larger-than-life action, but it also carries the burden of balancing its human elements with the colossal creatures that dominate the screen. Plot and pacing, the plot of Godzilla King of the Monsters revolves around a global catastrophe as ancient titans awaken to reclaim the Earth. The narrative is straightforward, serving primarily as a vehicle to showcase the film's true stars, the monsters. Each fight is meticulously choreographed, with the filmmakers taking full advantage of the Titans' unique abilities and attributes. One of the standout scenes is the Antarctic battle between Godzilla and King Ghidorah. The clash of these two Titans is a visual feast, with Godzilla's atomic breath and Ghidorah's lightning strikes creating a dazzling display of power. The use of weather effects, such as blizzards and storms, adds to the intensity of the scene making it one of the film's most memorable moments. Another highlight is the battle in Mexico, where Rodan emerges from a volcano and takes to the skies. The aerial combat between Rodan and the military jets is thrilling, with the fiery titan demonstrating his dominance before facing off against King Ghidorah. The sense of scale and the destructive power of these creatures are conveyed brilliantly, leaving the audience in awe of the sheer spectacle. The final battle in Boston is the film's crowning achievement, bringing together all the major titans for an all-out war. The choreography, the special effects, and the sound design all come together to create a truly epic conclusion. Godzilla's final form, supercharged by Mothra's sacrifice, is a sight to behold, and the way he defeats Ghidorah is both satisfying and fitting for the king of the monsters. Characters and performances, the human characters in Godzilla, king of the monsters, serve primarily as conduits for the audience to experience the story. While the performances are solid, they are often overshadowed by the grandeur of the monster battles. Vera Farmiga's Dr. Emma Russell is the most complex character, 
driven by a tragic past and a misguided belief in the necessity of the Titans' return. Kyle Chandler as Mark Russell provides a more grounded, relatable perspective, while Millie Bobby Brown's Madison Russell adds a youthful innocence to the mix. Ken Watanabe's Dr. Serizawa continues to be a standout, bringing a sense of gravitas and respect for the Titans. His character's arc, culminating in a heroic sacrifice to save Godzilla, is one of the film's emotional high points. However, the sheer number of human characters means that some are underdeveloped, and their motivations can feel a bit thin. Visual effects and sound. Visually, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, is a masterpiece of CGI and practical effects. The design of the Titans is both faithful to their classic appearances and updated with modern technology to make them more imposing and realistic. The scale of the creatures is conveyed through impressive cinematography, with wide shots that emphasize their size and power. The sound design is equally impressive, with each Titan having its distinct roar and sound effects that add to their presence. The score, composed by Bear McCreary, pays homage to the classic Godzilla themes while incorporating new elements that enhance the film's epic scope. The combination of visuals and sound creates an 